comes a time in every project when you got to say we're at a point where we can stop and we reached that point with Aaron's bus the fact that it's getting this is the fourth day in a row gonna be over a hundred sort of had a lot to do with it but we've added uh, a camera up above we've got a backup camera and around the outside there's a lot of things that I lost footage or whatever reason we didn't show but a cab heater is down there back here is the compartment for the propane just it's locked right now uh, you got the gray water tank fresh water tank we did add a spigot so that if wanted you could get the uh, get water that way if the, the pump failed or whatever uh, we got plans for there but that's not mine and uh, so that's that's just a real quick run around the outside let's go on inside and I'll give you a quick tour of all the different aspects that we did what it all looks like uh, put together up to this point. We do the uh, inside of, of Aaron's bus. Again, it's not quite finished. We've got to do this. That'll be done later. Uh, cover the wire chases and all in the trim work in here. But a lot of that's been put off until some painting gets done. This is a, a full size bed. You saw us build that slat bed. It also doubles as a couch. And uh, this huge slab of pine for a countertop. Uh, Eric Wanderboom did a great job on that. And then we've got the, the refrigerator. It just pulls out. Uh, kitchen sink. Uh, there is a fan underneath to help move the air around the refrigerator so that uh, it works a little bit better. Of course, then you got this stove set up right now for driving, so the uh, wire racks are off so they don't slide on the floor. And then over here is uh, kitchen drawers again, Eric Wanderboom. And We've got a uh, pantry here with a couple of shelves down the line, up and lower. We're going to eventually have pull-out ones. And then, of course, we got the, this table that can be moved around. It's set up on a uh, system you see in a lot of RVs. But we've got the... Here's the, all the electric is back in here, and all of the uh, batteries are underneath. Right now we've got a portable air conditioner going in here because, well, it's going to get over 100 degrees again today. So let's go back and take a look at the, the bedroom area. So this is the bedroom area. We've got a closet over here with a couple of of bars to hang stuff. We've got one on this side. The inverter is on this side. And then you got the, the two beds. This one is the the, the um, slide out bed. And this other one, let me see if I can set this down. That's the Murphy bed. Actually, that's the problem. So we've got a clip on that side, and there's another clip on this side. So driving down the road, it's got two clips, and of course, when it's up, you got the desk. There are drawers underneath, and this is the uh, heating unit, or where the, the cab heater uh, 
comes out and down in this area. And of course, uh, this is the other bed. Like I said, this is the one that that slat bed can pull out. So we got it pulled out right now. Um, left the one. And again, so let's go take a look at the bathroom. Well, back here is the bathroom, and it's where we put the horse trough tub in. Uh, the heater is back in here and there's a nice huge long hose so if if wanted they go out through the door and have an outdoor shower and using some of the wood that was left over from the countertop in the kitchen nice shelf here and another one in the back she had an antique door so we used here for a little bit of uh, interesting aesthetics. Next step is going to be tile this surface and I'm not sure what's going on there. The toilet, composting toilet, uh, urine diverter goes down into the tank. This is the storage for the cocoa core and Again, it's still not quite finished, so there's this panel that's got to get up. And we do have a little broom closet here, and still got to put it latches. Up here is a, um, a couple of shelves for storage of paper products. And there you go. That's the tour of what we did over the course of about, about eight weeks. And a lot of the last two weeks were just little finishing touches. So, hope you enjoyed the series and uh, back on my on the road, back on two adventures.